Right, ladies and gents, I wanted to talk about Aliens Dark Descent. This dropped well, a while back, basically, this trailer. And I sort of, you know, I, I posted my thoughts over on Twitter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, do. Because obviously you can step there on a lot more stuff over there. Um, and nine times out of ten, the stuff that you're asking would be addressed, like, broadly. I can't reply to every single comment or every single person. just don't have the time for it. Whereas these things can be addressed on a broader platform, which is what I do over there. Um, but I waited to do a video just to discuss it, really, just to see if there was any more information that was coming out or anything like that. And you know what? This is going to be a negative video. I'll just say from the off. All right, it's a crime of river if you don't like it. I'm just deeply disappointed. Uh, and I'm going to echo my thoughts from Twitter. I'm deeply disappointed that Alien just isn't getting the love that it deserves. So, Aliens Dark Descent is a top-down group game. Top-down. Top-down. Now, <laughs> when we've had the beautiful game that is Alien Isolation, one of the, one of the best Alien games ever created, second to... Uh, AVP 2, which was a fantastic game. If you have not played that, you must. The old one, not AVP 2010. Um, what a what a staggering step down in quality from what I personally think the Aliens franchise deserves. And we'll take a look, right? Because they did a really good job of fooling a lot of people. Because a lot of people were like, oh my god, this looks amazing. Uh, but then you get to the end and you're like, ah, shit. Yeah, that looks crap. Um, so, let, let, you know, what was said? CEO of Tinderloss Interactive said the entire team at Tinderloss is dedicated to delivering a gaming experience faithful to the spirit of the Aliens franchise and adding its own never-seen-before elements to this iconic universe. The gameplay we've developed is unique, inspired from our favourite tactical and CRPG games and packaged in nerve-wracking real-time action, uh, translating from film to our game The Sheer Terror caused by the deadliest species known to man was quite a challenge. But I'm confident most of you will end up uh, in strung out shape, as Hicks himself would say. Right? This, this trailer, is really good. It's a good trailer, ladies and gents. This looks great. Not, not what we're getting, though, guys. Not getting any of this. Not getting any of this at all. This looks great. This? I would buy this. I'd buy this all day, every day. This looks fucking sick. You know? Everyone's going to love this. But again, that's not what we're getting. Not what we're getting at all. This is, this is awesome. What we are getting... And they hide it right at the end. Right at the end. I mean, this is 2 minutes 20... 2 minutes 24 seconds of a 2 minute 40 second trailer. Oh, what's this? Is this the actual gameplay? I will say this. I like the... This as a throwback uh, screen to uh, AVP2. This is, a, this is a cool throwback to that. But anyway... Here's the actual gameplay. Oh. So, sorry, what was that? How, how many seconds? How many seconds of footage? Hmm. Hmm. It's a lot, that, isn't it? Yeah. About, about six, and I'm being generous, six seconds of footage of the actual game. And it's top down. And they're like, oh, this is so unique. We've made it really unique. It's uh, it's a brand new kind of, you know, the gameplay. That's not unique at all. I've seen this in other games. This is not unique. This is not unique at all. This is poo poo. And there is one uh, AVP game which was top down. I can't even remember what it was. But that was like an RPG strategy. You'd grow like a hive or, you know, you build sort of like a predator base and stuff like that. That wasn't terrible. That wasn't terrible at all. I think that was even on, I want to say like the Xbox. I can't remember. Or PlayStation 2 or something like that. That wasn't horrendous. 
we've we've had alien isolation now. What? Why are we? Why are we getting this? Why are we getting top? Why are we getting this? This is what happens when you get the likes of bloody Disney buying an IP and just going, you know what? Fuck it. I couldn't care less about this product. Have fun with it, lads. There's no care and attention being had. This, it might be a cool story, but give it to us in a better package. I mean, they look like they're floating. They are not... Look at the... They're not even connected to the floor. Oh, it's very disappointing. It's, it's a massive shame. Now, the cinematic trailer sees a group of co uh, colonial marines explore a compound called Tantalus Base in 2998 before they are overrun by xenomorphs there's a few seconds of gameplay footage right at the very end of the, the trailer yep and the official information describes the game as an enthralling single player squad based action game where gamers lead a squad of marines in real time combat and here's here's the official FAQ in aliens duck descent you control a squad of four colonial marines issuing orders in real time you again we've had this kind of gameplay before you will infiltrate large open levels filled with wonders from the Alien franchise, basically member berries, while annihilating enemies with your squad. Strategically plan out your raids to complete as many objectives as possible in each run before extracting your team to return back to your base. And the thing is, like this just seems like a top-down version of Aliens Fireteam. Or Aliens Fireteam Elite, whatever they called it. And I played that here on the channel, and that was boring as well. That has absolutely no replay value. Slow down time with the press of a button. So you've got bullet time for sh for strategy. Right, okay. Extract your marines safely at the end of long missions and watch them gain experience and level up, unlocking precious advanced skills and specialities. Make sure to monitor your marines' health and stress levels on the field. However, because death is permanent in the game and losing your units forever, a real possibility. That's not... F uh, sure. The Otago ship, which has suffered serious damage after crashing on Moon Leth, acts like your base of operations. Over the course of the game, you'll rescue specialists and salvage repair materials, unlocking many perks and improvements that will directly impact the performance of your marines. Expand the armory to unlock weapons, the med bay for fast recovery times between missions, the workshop to unlock specializations and perks. I just think this is poo. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I want more from the franchise that I love. And I do love it. Very clearly. Uh, I want to see more from it. And I think this is just disappointing. Shame. Shame on you, Disney. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way. But also, not only that, you do get to wear some awesome merch. These are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me. By my graphic designer, we of course have our Clown World line, which is uh, in mugs, hoodies, t-shirts. We've got Space Jeebus. Uh, and then for something a little bit different, we of course have right down at the bottom right here, we have our Pulsar GTIR. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out and supporting my second channel, which is Car Nonsense. This is a vlog and car channel. You can find links to this in the description box along with my Teespring. Please do consider supporting.